Welcome back to Engineer's Workshop. Back in the shop today doing some real project work for a change. Going to continue work on the pulley hub here. And this is an aluminum piece that's going to hold this double row bearing. The center of the bearing is centered on the um, micro V belt that is going to load on this side. We've got a bore we have to be accurate with for a one to two thousandths press of this bearing. We've got a depth we have to be accurate with so that the internal snap ring retains this without really any play uh, in and out. So we'll get set up to work on that. We'll see what else we got to do. Um, been playing with the Quincy compressor and that runs okay-ish on the new uh, Hyun Yang VFD that I got, but runs better on the visually identical um, I think well, I'm trying to remember what the brand of that other uh, VFD is. They look identical, but um, internal board is a little bit different. But I'm going to just swap them out because it's easy enough to. So I'm um, going to put the my IV stand VFD mounted on the uh, wall dedicated for the Quincy compressor and put the other one on the roll around stand so I can run like the ACK return lathe with it and uh, we'll just see what else we can get accomplished. My son helped me get the weather enclosure down from around the KNT, which was torn to shreds from high winds on and off. Uh, so I got to rebuild that and get that back around the uh, KNT. The dust is already starting to accumulate on it. So I got to get that taken care of. Don't know if I'll get that done this week, but let's just see you know, how far we can get. So we'll get started on this. Okay, I have my pulley hub set up. I've, I've left it set up here with uh, my C2 brazed carbide uh, boring tool. Now we've got to enlarge this bore to accept this double row bearing with a light press fit, a couple thousands press fit. So I've got my uh, depth of the tool set and when I'm touching the face here, on my stop block, I used uh, gauge blocks to rough a 700 thousandths deep bore. And that's about 60 thousandths shy of the finished bore. Finished bore depth is actually at 732. So I got 30 thousandths for cleanup. And uh, I'm gonna take a couple passes, see where I'm at, work my way out, and I'm going to leave about 30 to 60 thousandths on the diameter and then I'm going to start measuring accurately with my um, sliding internal parallels and I don't want to overshoot this bore, get this board just right for that bearing and then I'll uh, finish clean up the depth and the OD hopefully a couple thousandths at a time and get a nice fit on this. see where we're at and for reference we're looking for 1.260 and we're at 150 thousandths from my target. It should be 90 thousandths from my target now. Excuse my math, 60 thousandths from my target.
I'm right at about a two and a half thousandths press. I don't know that I want to go any lighter than that. And I'm at 710 thousandths depth and I need 732. So I need another 20 on depth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to advance my compound the 20 thousandths. Print calls for 732. I'm at 731 and a half. I'll take it. The next detail is a 51 thousandths uh, retaining ring slot. And the OD of that is, the ID is 1.354. So I'm going to have to do some math here and see how, how deep that is from touching the side. For doing the groove, I've got a nice little tool here, solid carbide internal grooving tool. Let's check the width of that. Print calls for 51 thousandths. Ah, this is a little wider, 63 thousandths. So I'm going to have to compensate for the outer position of the slot. Let's do that math. So basically after I do all my math, I'm going to park this edge of the grooving tool against the bottom of the counter bore. And then I need to step back 614 with uh, gauge blocks off the stop. And then I can basically just plunge this into the ID of the bore until I get my depth. And that's going to position the outer edge of the groove where it needs to be. It doesn't matter if that groove actually extends you know, somewhat inboard of where it needs to be because the bearing is going to prevent that snap ring from going in anymore, but we want to make sure that bearing doesn't have any axial play. Okay, I've got a combination here that gives me 610. I'll get the additional four from the vernier on the stop. All right, everything's in position for this cut. So basically I have to um, come out till I'm touching the bore and then a fixed amount. I need a 47 thousandths depth of cut or 94 thousandths on the dial. And we're contacting. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Sixty. 70, 80, 90, looks right. So the last operation before I flip this part is I'm going to take just a light cut on the OD to get a surface that's concentric with everything that I've done and then I can flip it over and chuck on that surface. I don't know, if, well, or I can grab over here and then uh, get the lengths and the features on the back side. My best option for getting in here is using a boring bar running the lathe in reverse and uh, I'm going to set up my stop here so I don't crash into my chuck. Clearance is clearance.
So my son has the OD at 2.875. Let's see, I think this is a three inch, three inch OD blank. Yeah, so I can uh, take an eighth inch off the OD. This will be a first for me running the lathe backwards. Quite cleaning up all the way. Two point nine seven nine, so I'm um, right at a hundred thousandths oversize. That's easy to deal with. Two point eight seven nine, and I'm not going to worry about. Four thousandths over. So we've got an overall height of inch and a quarter. I'm going to take the part out of the chuck, see how tall it is, and we'll know how much we got to face off of this side. And then there is a counterbore on this side, 2.563, and I believe that's for a you know two and nine sixteenths diameter um, flange diameter on the on the fan hub which sits in there so we'll do face the length and then do this counter bore then we're done with the lathe take it off put it in uh, either on the rotary table or index it in the uh, k and t and put those four now we got to we actually got to put four tapped holes on one side and three on the back and one of them can be common. So that should be interesting. Had a bit of an issue getting this part to seat flat when I flipped it because uh, that little tenon I put on there had a, I don't know, maybe a 30 thousandths or so radius in the corner and my jaws were not allowing this thing to sit flat. So I had to make a spacer um, out of just a real good quality card so that uh, this thing sat square up against the jaws. So I got it running within about a thousandths and I'm going to face this back side. Then I'm going to measure the thickness and we will bring that down to a total thickness of inch and a quarter minus 0.266, whatever the math for that is. First step is just get it running true. This needs to be 984. We're at 1.1875, about 200 thousandths coming off of that. Let's, let's go ahead and do, uh, let's try 50. This will be a pretty heavy cut. I'm exactly 51 thousandths from my target.
Definitely got some heat in the part after that. So that's probably a good stopping point. Um, got to do the counterbore on this side and then seven holes, tapped holes to mount, you know, a four point mount for the fan on this side and a three point mount, three point mount on the back side for the pulley. And then this part is done. Nice pile of aluminum there from that operation. Well, we're getting close on this part, so uh, I'm pretty happy with the progress. It's getting a little chilly in the shop here. I think we got a cold front coming in. So I'm gonna wrap it up for now and uh, we'll keep working on this project over the uh, holiday weekend. I hope everybody has a good uh, Memorial Day weekend and uh, has some good uh, outdoor activities planned if your geographic location uh, allows that. I know we're gonna try to do our best to spend some time outside. So more next week with uh, more projects. Um, finish up on uh, Quincy Compressor. Got, you know, 90, 95% of the way there with the new VFD running that. Very happy with that. So uh, catch everybody next week. Thanks for all the likes and subscribes. Appreciate, uh, appreciate your interest in the projects here in Engineers Workshop. So uh, until next week, as always, stay safe.